for this is the will of God. Rejoice evermore, for this is the will of God. Rejoice evermore, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus concerning you. Sing alleluia to the Lord of God. Enter his courts with songs of praise. Sing alleluia to the Lord of God. Enter his courts with songs of praise. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, or the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all and with your spirit. Dear brethren, we have some intentions to be prayed. Let us pray for good health of Mr. Chinarasu and Mrs. Ranjida and good for their family members. Let us also pray for the birthday celebrant, Mr. Felix. May Almighty God bless him and bless his family members. Let us also pray for the family members and personal conversion to the divine mercy of the donor. Let us pray for the people who are affected by the coronavirus. Brethren, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I, I confess, confess to Almighty, to Almighty God, God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who founded all the commands of your sacred law upon love of you and of our neighbor, grant that by keeping your precepts, we may merit to attain eternal life through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. I come and will dwell in the midst of you. A reading from the book of Zechariah, chapter 2, verses from 1 to 5, 10 and 11. I, Zechariah, lifted my eyes and saw, and behold, a man with a measuring line in his hand then I said, Where are you going? And he said to me, To measure Jerusalem, to see what is its breadth and what is its length. And behold, the angel who walked with me came forward, and another angel came forward to meet him, and said to him, Run, say to that young man, Jerusalem shall be inhabited as villages without walls, because of the multitude of men and cattle in it. For I will be to her a wall of fire round about, says the Lord, and I will be the glory within her. Sing and rejoice, O daughter of Zion, for lo, I come and I will dwell in the midst of you says the Lord, and many nations shall join themselves to the Lord in that day, and shall be my people. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. Response are real some. Let your response be. The Lord will guard us as a shepherd guards his flock. The, the Lord, Lord will guard us as a shepherd guards his flock. For nations hear the word of the Lord, Proclaim it to the far of costs. Say, He who scattered Israel will gather him, and guard his as a shepherd guards his flock. The, the Lord, Lord will guard us as a shepherd guards his flock. For the Lord has ransomed Jacob, has saved him from an overpowering hand. They will come and shout for joy on Mount Zion. 
they will stream to the blessings of the Lord. The Lord will guard us as a shepherd guards his flock. Then the young girls will rejoice and will dance. The men, young and old, will be glad. I will turn their mourning into joy. I will console them, give gladness for grief. The Lord will guard us as a shepherd guards his flock. Acclamation. Alleluia, alleluia. Of his one will the Father brought us forth by the word of truth, that we should be a kind of first fruits of his creatures. Alleluia. Sing alleluia to the Lord. Sing alleluia to the Lord. Sing alleluia, sing alleluia. Sing alleluia to the Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Gospel of St. Luke. Chapter 9, verses from 43 to 45. While they were all marveling at everything Jesus did, he said to his disciples, Let these words sink into your ears. For the Son of Man used to be delivered into the hands of men. But they did not understand this saying, and it was concealed from them that they should not perceive it. And they were afraid to ask Jesus about this saying. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Dear friends in Christ Jesus, when Jesus said that I must undergo the persecution, the disciples were not able to understand and even they have no dare to ask Jesus what is the meaning of it. It is because the disciples were thinking that Jesus will come and Jesus will, as a, as a messiah, he will come and chase away the Roman emperors and he will, as a Jew, he will go and catch hold of the kingdom and the disciples will be the MLA or MP like. They will be surrounding and sitting around Jesus. That is what they thought. But when Jesus said, he will be persecuted and he will be given the cross to carry and they were not able to understand because Jesus' mind is something else and the mind of the disciples is something else. So therefore there is a proverb which goes like this, the man proposes, God disposes. So when you think that this is the way that we must walk and God has the another thing that you must go. We see in the Old Testament when the prophet Jonah was about to escape from the work of God, but God knows how to bring him back. So there was a heavy storm and he was thrown into the sea and the fish swallowed him and then three days he was there in the belly of fish and then he came out and he went to the Nineveh and he preached about God. So the thing that we have that we can do without the knowledge of God and, the, and that we can do by our own selves that we can do by our own mighty, it is not at all possible. Because with the prayer, with the blessings of God, you cannot even move anything else. Because the God is the creator, the God is loving you and me. The God is caring for you and me. Therefore, let us surrender ourselves to God. Let us give up ourselves to God. Let us not think that I am the great among the people. Let us think I am the lowest of the low. I am the servants of the servant. So dear friends, in today's gospel, as Jesus has explained that he is going to receive the betrayal, that he is going to get the cross. Likewise, we also some of the days, some of the times that we also may have sometimes the glorification, sometimes there is a cross in our lives, but we must understand if we want to have only the glorification, only the fame and name, it is not at all possible. We need to have, we need to carry the cross. So Jesus also carried. In our lives, let us take two things hand to hand. Glorification as well as the cross. So that we can reach out to God 
and then we can walk with the Lord. For this grace, we pray during this holy banquet. from hands anointed these gifts of bread and wine and has the time appointed bringing your gift divine angels to praise the Lord above praise his all powerful grace all nations praise his gracious love you are his chosen race. The cross was God man made, sir. His proof of endless love. But soon we'll have the treasure. Christ's body and his blood. Angels do praise the Lord above. Praise his so powerful grace. All nations praise His gracious love. You are His chosen race. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Receive with favor, O Lord, we pray, the offerings of your people, that what they profess with the devotion and faith may be theirs through these heavenly mysteries. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Father most holy. Through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your word through whom you made all things, whom you sent as our Savior and Redeemer incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin, fulfilling your will and gaining for your holy people. He stretched out his hands as he endured his passion so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so with the angels and all the saints, we declare your glory as with one voice we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, he entered willingly into his passion. He took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and the resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, 
giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and the blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis our Pope and Nidhinathan our Bishop and all the clergy, Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, with the blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, for ever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, and formed by the divine teaching, we dare to say, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you, peace be with you, peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter into my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. We celebrate this festivity with prayer and joyful song. Our Father's house is from church. We know that we belong. The bread is broken, wine is poured, a feast to lift us up. Then thank the Lord who gives himself as food and saving God. The door is open entering, and take your place by right. For you've been chosen as his guest to share his love and life. The bread is broken, wine is poured, a feast to lift us up. Then thank the Lord who gives himself as food and saving cup. We come
come together as the twelve came to the upper room. Our host is Jesus Christ the Lord, now risen from the tomb. The bread is broken, wine is poured, our feast to lift us up. Then thank the Lord who gives things up as full and saving come. Let us pray. Gracious ladies of O Lord, those you renew with this sacrament, that we may come to possess your redemption, both in mystery and in the manner of our life, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Yeah.